John Harchuk, Vice President of Policy for Texas 2036, testifying for the bill. Um, thank you, Chairman Bonin and members. Uh, these ARPA funds represent a once-in-a-generation opportunity for our state to make a meaningful one-time investment in its future. So I'd like to applaud some of the appropriations that have been made in this bill, starting in particularly with the $500 million for broadband, which is an excellent down payment on what will likely be a multi-billion dollar problem over the next few years. Um, as you're looking at how to stretch that $500 million as far as possible, um, the Department of Treasury rules on the Capital Projects Fund allows it to be used for data and mapping. So as we uh, try to get, you know, stretch that as far as possible, I'd ask you to consider that. I'd also say that um, y'all are likely familiar with the uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife request for $30 million for broadband access in state parks, which could serve as anchor sites for broadband developments in rural community, eligible for capital projects fund broadband funds as well. Um, so a great opportunity to, to leverage that uh, across multiple areas of our state. Uh, on cybersecurity, again, I'd like to applaud the $200 million in there for the Department of Information Resources. Uh, with the investment you all made in the General Appropriations Act, I believe that's about a billion dollars overall for state IT modernization, this fiscal uh, biennium, which is a real commitment from you all and a good foresight, especially considering the uh, massive increase in cyber threats that have arisen as more government services have moved online. Uh, again, the Treasury rules specifically state that cybersecurity is a major concern uh, and an appropriate use of these ARPA funds. Um, finally, I'd like to acknowledge the state hospital investment, which is a, a great example of um, not just how we can meet immediate state needs, but um, kind of uh, save the state money that we are going to spend in the future. So as you all are moving through this process, just ask you to consider three uh, principles you know, using these funds to serve, solve big long-term problems, ensuring fiscal sustainability, and when possible, uh, working to coordinate your investments with local governments to leverage the $10.8 billion that they have to the maximum benefit of all Texans. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Zwiener. Thank you so much, Chair. Thank you for being here today. Um, and I also just really want to thank the staff of Texas 2036 for walking y'all's priorities to all of us and uh, visiting with us. Um, I know y'all have also been talking about, you know, the possible opportunity to address the issue of air conditioning in some of our prisons. I was wondering if you could walk us through what that opportunity is now. I know that's not currently covered in the bill. Um, yeah, so basically uh, there is a, as y'all are aware, a significant uh, financial cost associated with that. So as y'all are considering one-time costs, um, that is one of the options available uh, to address, you know, again, like the state hospitals, if you pay for something you're going to have to pay for anyways in the future um, with these federal funds, um, that is a, a allowable under the portion that is um, uh, for revenue loss, um, but then also you'd be freeing up additional GR for, you know, in future biennia. And my understanding, if I remember correctly, y'all estimated about $1.1 billion for air conditioning in prisons, but thought that was a little high. Uh, I, I need to follow up with you on that. Okay. Um, and my understanding, as well as that that type of investment would um, save the state money in the long run as well because of claims um, from people being harmed by lack of air conditioning, both from Texas prison guards, um, as well as people who are incarcerated. Yeah, if, if one uh, works on the assumption that the uh, federal courts are going to eventually mandate that we are going to make these expenses, then it's just a question of how are we going to pay for them. All right. Thank you so much. No problem. All right. Thank you for being with us. Thank you.